Hello everyone, my name is Angus Clark, I'm from the REDS lab at Imperial College London, and today I will be talking to you about the research detailed in our paper titled Design and Workspace Characterization of Malleable Robots. We present here the design and physical implementation of a malleable robot, and also provide a theoretical and experimental analysis of the achievable workspaces of the robot. This research clearly demonstrates the advantages of a malleable robot over a typical serial robot and provides an insight into their design. To start us off, here you can see the resulting malleable robot in action. The majority of tasks performed by serial robot arms, such as pick and place operations, only require two or three degrees of freedom. However, determining or predicting the specific DOF can be tricky, especially in the case of flexible or unknown tasks. Further, when performing multiple simple two or three DOF tasks, we require a higher DOF to allow the dexterity between these tasks. Therefore, when designing the specification of serial robots for a task, they are designed to be overcapable or with the exact DOF that can then limit their application scope. Soft robotics has provided some solutions to this, such as continuum robots, which have natural conformity and show high dexterity. Uh, and variable stiffness has improved their strength. However, their control and motion planning are still complicated to solve. The design of reconfigurable robots has been discussed before. However, the physical implementation of such designs has been limited. Modular robots composed of multiple repeating segments show discrete reconfigurability, as shown here by Yang and Cohen, references 1 and 4, where joints between modular sections reshape the robot, whereas soft robots, which typically implement some form of variable stiffness, show a combination of discrete and continuous reconfigurability, as shown here by Marchez, reference 2. The variable stiffness of these designs allows for certain segments to reshape and stiffen, thus changing the structure of the robot. However, due to the complexity of all of these designs, as well as the high number of joints implemented, the theoretical analysis of such designs and their physical implementation is typically very limited. We propose malleable robots as a solution to this problem. Malleable robots are defined as reduced DOF serial arms of changeable geometry, whereby the integration of a variable stiffness continuously bending link between joints allows the relative positioning of revolute pairs to vary, producing a variable robot topology, while the reduced DOF maintains the simplicity of the overall system. In this paper, we introduce a first of its kind malleable robot prototype, shown here, consisting of two robot rotary joints, a malleable link of variable stiffness with structural spine designed for collaborative extrinsic reconfiguration, and a rigid link connecting the secondary joint to the end effector. The distance based parameters and main set of formula defining the malleable robot workspace are also identified, and the symbolic equation of the workspace surface traced by the end effector is obtained, along with a presentation of its workspace categories. To the best of our knowledge, no workspace calculation or analysis has yet been performed for malleable robots, and this work is the first demonstration of the viability and capabilities of this technology, presenting physical examples of the infinite number of workspaces that a 2DOF malleable robot can achieve. To model the workspace of the 2DOF malleable robot, we use distance geometry based on five vertices of the robot, which correspond to the two vertices for each axis of the two joints and the position of the end effector. Using the squared distances between each of these vertices, we can compute the cayley mondra determinant for which a set of five points is equal to zero. Using the determinant of block matrices, we are able to rearrange this equation such that it can be compactly expressed using three by three by three matrices. Substituting our known points into this equation, we obtain the algebraic surface gamma in terms of our unknown end effector position. By providing constraints to the two revolute axes of the malleable robot, this equation simplifies resulting in specific types of robot configurations. We define these configurations as spherical, puma-like, scara, and general articulated. 
Here we can see the resulting simulated types of workspace configurations for a Tudor malleable robot. Left to right, spherical, puma-like, scara, and general articulated. To experimentally confirm the predicted workspaces, we developed a Tudor malleable robot arm here shown in various configurations, with a puma-like configuration shown in the foreground. The main component enabling the adaptability of the malleable robot is the malleable link. This is a variable stiffness link that utilizes structural layer jamming activated using a vacuum to transition from a flexible to a rigid state. To support the structure of the layer jamming, an internal flexible spine was implemented inside of the structure. Layer jamming was selected due to the high stiffness to volume ratio, and we have presented its viability in large diameter structures previously. The design robot uses two joints, a vertical rotary joint at the base providing rotation around the z-axis, and a secondary joint that provides rotation perpendicular to the termination end, shown here. Both joints included motion tracking mounts, and their design simplified the tracking and modelling of the overall robot. To experimentally evaluate the workspace of the malleable robot, motion tracking of the end effector as it swept the workspace was used. Twelve robot geometries were selected, three configurations of each of the four types of workspace, shown here. Here, we demonstrate the four types of workspace configurations achievable with a Tudor malleable robot. To start us off, there's the Puma-like configuration, where the axes of the two joints are perpendicular. Next, we have spherical, where the axes of the two joints both coincide at the base. Next, we have the SCARA configuration. This is where both the axes of the joints are uh, parallel. And finally, we have general articulated, where none of the above conditions apply. Here we see the results of the motion tracking. The types of workspace is identified on the right. Here we see general articulated and puma-like, and on the next slide we see scara and spherical. From these results we can see that all types of four workspace configurations were achieved. Within each of these we are able to achieve significant variations of the same topology producing flattened tori in the general articulated case, and variation in the very radius of the resulting sphere in the puma-like and spherical case. For the SCARA case, only a variation in the workspace height and radius was observed, as the workspace is dependent on the length of the rigid link of the robot. In these results, we observed that the rigidity of the malleable link is not constant across the workspace configurations due to the production of wrinkles in the membrane varying the frictional forces generated. While this variation is very minimal compared to the joints, it is an aspect that must be considered. Further, for extrinsically actuated malleable robots, we must account for the accuracy limitations of human manipulation. While the overall accuracy achieved was good for our purposes, as shown by the majority of the workspaces in the correct desired form, it is clear that a slight change in reconfiguration can be critical to the resulting workspace accuracy. Thus, the direction of malleable robots towards collaborative robots, where inaccuracies can easily be dynamically corrected, is key. To conclude, through simulation we demonstrated four types of workspace configurations that are achievable by a Tudor malleable robot, and we further experimentally demonstrated this capability through a physical implementation. While limitations were observed in the accuracy of the workspace, the variation in intended workspace geometry was correctly obtained. The takeaway from this paper is that it is possible to construct malleable robots with adjustable workspaces and using distance geometry we can compute the workspace of such robots. Future research may consider the implementation of intrinsic control, motion planning or the optimised design of joints and end effectors. Thank you for your time and if you have any questions please direct them to either myself or Nicholas Rojas via either of our emails which can be found at the URL to our lab here. Thank you.